All right, so I'm gonna tell you two things that I know to be true. The first one is that AI is only valuable to us as gym owners because it helps us provide more value to our clients. If AI was just here to save us time and do like little menial tasks, it would be mental masturbation. I don't mean, not, not. It would not be the game changing thing that it is. It would not be like that apple cart upturning technology that I think they say disruptor technology that it is. It's only a disruptor because it helps people who already know their shit magnify and multiply their impact by getting more shit done. And the second thing is that I am so fucking sick of coaching nutrition, I think I want to bang my head into this brick wall. That might be a little bit too honest of a confession, but hey, what the hell? So nutrition is a pain in the ass to coach because if you think about nutrition, think about all the things tied into food. It's social, it's economic, relationship-based, it's a comfort thing, it's also fuel. So everybody has this like tangled web of bullshit in their head when it comes to food. They also have this tangled web of bullshit of expectations of how things work of, I read this on Instagram, so we should do this. I saw this in Shape Magazine, so we should do this when really they don't know shit. That was genius <laughs> and mean. I don't mean that to be insulting. I mean, simply the fact that a client is coming to a coach of some kind in order to reach a goal that they themselves have had for a while, but have not been able to reach. You can logically assume from that, that you don't know the steps to take. You don't know how to build a plan. You don't know your ass from your elbow, yet you wanna use this warped information to dictate what you're going to do. It ends up being this just, I'm basically just sick of having the same conversation over and over again. So I'm gonna show you how you, whether you're like me or not, you're probably a little more kind-hearted and less uh, world-weary than I am, can use ChatGPT to bring some amazing value to your clients by creating custom meal plans if you don't already do that, and then making these meal plans so convenient that none of your clients will ever have an excuse for not following them again. So very simple things here. All you need is a ChatGPT account and that's it. So let's get started. So creating custom meal plans is rather difficult because there's a lot of moving parts. There's the actual calories and macros that you need to put in order for that client to reach their actual goal. And then there's their preferences because if you make them a meal plan that they hate, there's no chance in hell they're gonna stick with it. And with the way clients are today, everybody wants more nutrition help. Do you keto by the way? You look like you keto. Everybody wants at least, you know, the window dressing of like, I got a meal plan, whether they intend to follow it or not. So I'm going to show you a simple prompt that you can use to create a meal plan based on your clients, like goals, metrics, where they are now, and also their preferences. So the prompt's going to be up on the screen right now. It's simply create a four week meal plan for the client age, client gender. So like 42 year old male who weighs, let's say 225 pounds and is six feet tall. They're moderately active and want to weigh 200 pounds in six months. All that is going to, you know, create the metrics to build the, the structure of the meal plan, the calories, protein, all that good stuff, so that this is a meal plan that's actually applicable to their goals. You obviously hopefully figure that out from what you just saw. The meal plan should include three meals per day, corresponding recipes, snacks, and a shopping list. Please follow the Mifflin GR calculation when calculating the macronutrients and calories for this meal plan. The meal plan should not include any, this is where you insert the stuff your clients don't like. So let's say this meal plan should not include any shellfish, peanuts, and vegan food. Please be specific with the quantities and measurements involved in each recipe and on the grocery list. So once you enter that prompt in GPT-4, you're going to get a very long, very specific meal plan. That's great because that's exactly what you asked for. And the best part, the great thing about this prompt is that you can customize it to each client and you don't have to sit in front of a computer moving stuff around, copying and pasting recipes or, you know, doing calculations on your phone. This will automate that tedious task for you, whether this is something you offer or this is something you're going to use this prompt to start to offer. It's gonna make nutrition coaching, it's gonna make building that structured meal plan so much easier, save you a lot of mental space, and more importantly, save you a lot of time so you can do other stuff or just do more of this. So as you see on the screen, the meal plan that it generates is very specific, very in-depth, tells them every single thing they need to do from quantities of the recipe to how to cook the stuff to what to buy, all that good stuff. But let's be perfectly honest, I've been doing this for 12 years. The amount number of clients who have conformed to a PDF meal plan is probably less than 25%. It's a whole new behavior. There's a lot of friction between walking into a gym, hiring a personal trainer, and following the meal plan to a T. There's friction in the middle. It's not what they're used to. It's difficult. It's tiring. There's a cost. There's a lifestyle cost. What our job is, is basically to smooth over that friction, to remove as much of that friction as possible. So the best way that we can remove friction from, client, from giving a client a meal plan to getting the client to follow the meal plan is to make it as easy as possible to get the ingredients on that meal plan. So the next step in this is we are going to use ChatGPT to create a customized Instacart shopping list in your area at your local grocery store that all your client has to do is click the link to buy the things they need for that meal plan. So we've got our meal plan. All we're gonna do is copy and paste it 
from the chat GPT response right there. Copy and paste the whole thing. Like I said, it's going to be long, but that's a good thing. That's what you want. So we're going to open up a new conversation in GPT-4. We're going to click that box around chat GPT-4. And we're going to scroll down to plugins. Another box is going to pop up. You're going to scroll down and you are going to click Instacart. If you do not have Instacart downloaded, all you have to do is click plugin store and then type in Instacart right here and then click the green install button next to the logo. But since I do have it installed, we're just gonna click on it in that box right there. You can see that funny little carrot. Once we're there, we're gonna enter the prompt. Please create a grocery list that contains all the ingredients needed in this meal plan in the right quantity and assume that, assuming the shopping will be done at your local grocery store in your zip code. So I'm gonna say Publix in 32257. So once we've entered that prompt, we're simply gonna then paste the meal plan below it. And once there, all we're gonna do is we're gonna press enter. So you're gonna see ChatGPT doing its thing, that thing's gonna spin. And once it analyzes the meal plan, once it analyzes the quantity of food that it needs to buy, it's going to create an Instacart link for you. All you have to do from there is copy and paste that Instacart link into the email where you send the client the meal plan. You definitely wanna save that Instacart link so that you can use it in the future. But when you do that, in about a minute and a half, what you're doing is you are making a meal plan the most convenient thing for your client to follow that they've ever had because there's no excuse for them not to at least get the ingredients on this meal plan when you are sending them a link where all they have to do is click purchase and enter their address and the food will be delivered directly to their house. This is the reason why AI is so powerful for gym owners because it allows us to bring a ton of value to our clients and it allows us to do it in a rather efficient time frame. If you were to do this all by yourself, can you imagine how long that would take you? This would take you at least two hours per meal plan from creating the meal plan to adjusting the meal plan to going onto Instacart and finding every single thing in the right quantity to populate your cart. You now get it done with like three clicks of the button and typing a couple sentences. And the mind blowing thing about all of this is that a system like this is so convenient and will bring so much value to your clients and set your gym and your program apart from everybody else in the area, but nobody's doing it. There's like less than 0.1% of gyms that are applying AI in the right way. This is how you apply AI correctly. This is how you use AI to bring more value to your clients. So if you look in the description below the video, both prompts that I've used in this video are there. All you have to do is copy and paste them and customize them. If you use stuff like this, your clients will be blown away at one, how much you fucking care, and two, at how much value you're bringing to their lives. And I guess we'll add a third. At three, at how easy you are making staying compliant to a meal plan. Because as you and I know, compliance is the most important part of a meal plan. To be honest, it's like calories don't even count if you're not consistent with them. If you can make clients consistent with their nutrition, they're going to get amazing results. They're going to love you. They're going to tell their friends about it. And you're going to have an amazing career. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do, because I don't want you to miss out on any of the mind-blowing stuff that I'm going to share. And I do have a lot of really amazing value bringing stuff coming in the next couple weeks. But if you have any questions at all, please just drop them in the comments or find me. I'm kind of everywhere.